Hey, Uncle Deke here. I'm going to try to explain something in layman's terms because I am a layman in this. I'm not an electronics expert. This is not the gospel according to the electronics expert. I've been using the term quarter wave antenna because I have built some for my video transmitters on my FPV planes. And people are asking me, what is a quarter wave antenna? And I've said, oh, I make my own. Well, then they say, how do you make them? So this is a how to make a quarter wave antenna. Okay, now, that's the way I heard it. I think most people say one fourth quarter wave antenna. It's actually a half wave okay or a dipole antenna it's the most common of all antennas was actually invented by Heinrich Hertz in 1886 so it's nothing new it's really simple and I've used lots of antennas on my planes and right now I'm on my Skywalker I'm using the rubber ducky antenna that's about this long that came with the uh, with the video transmitter and it works fine the only thing is it's kind of cumbersome it's big tall heavy and I've tried the quarter wave on my on a couple of my wings and I've gotten three miles with them with perfect no glitch pictures. So let's see how to make a quarter wave antenna. We're going to call it that. Uh, oh, don't forget. Mmm, a little coffee. Okay, how do we make it? Okay, okay, the first thing we do is we go to Google and we look up how to calculate a quarter wave antenna right here. Then I like to go down to the second one right here. Okay, and it's really hard. Now I'm using, um, I've used 1280 megahertz. Typical um, 1.3 frequency, but I've switched over to 1258 because there's no interference and with 12, my dragon link. 5, 8, 8, calculate. Okay, now we know from our calculator that our total antenna should be 4.462 inches. So we're going to divide that in half and that's 2.232. So I'm going to draw a line on a piece of paper like this, another one perpendicular to it like that. Then I'm going to use a, uh, a dial caliper because it's actually in thousandths of an inch, 2.232. So this is 2.1.2. Point three one two two point three two. Okay, so I'm going to measure that on here. Just a little bit more accurate measurement because I have no electronic devices to be able to check this. So I was just uh, taking the measurements by uh, on as the gospel and went for it. And so far I'm two for two. So our total is 4.464, each leg is 2.232, 2.232. Okay, so what we're going to do here is lay our antenna. Now, how do you do this? If you had, uh, if you had access to all kinds of electronic stuff, uh, and crimpers and wires and stuff. If you had that all readily accessible, you could make this antenna pretty easy. What I found out is I buy 
a Dragon Link antenna. The antenna that goes on the plane. I buy them and you can get them in all different lengths from Ready Made RC for like eight bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make an antenna for my Skywalker. I've been using the big rubber ducky antenna, so I'm gonna make one. So here is what you get right here. Now this one's like 36 inches long. Okay, already has the SMA connector on one end. It's already crimp, heat shrink. It's small, it's flexible, and here's the antenna. Now this is what the Dragon Link uses for theirs. Okay, but why can't I use it for mine? So now this is where you get the two halves. In the center of this antenna wire is a hard lead. On the outside is the insulation. Well, here's the center one right here. And we need to mark that like this. Actually, let's mark it back here because that's where we're going to need it. Okay. That means that's our center one. That's the top. The insulation, they peeled the insulation off, wrapped it around, and soldered a wire onto it like this. Now for theirs, this is the right length right here. Okay, we're not even going to worry about how long that is because what we're going to do is put this right on the center right here now I'll we'll make sure I get it right because I'm making one this is actually one I'm going to use okay and we put that on there like that okay make sure that's just right I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to make one right there. Okay, that's one half of it. Now let's do the same thing and hold this one. Okay. Okay. There's my quarter wave antenna. Or half wave. This is the top, this is the bottom. You'd put it on the plane just like now. You could look, use it like that if you wanted to. But they want you to have this to be to work effectively. They want you to have it straight. Okay? For it to work right. A straight dipole. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now we're ready to, uh, to actually assemble our quarter wave antenna. We've got the uh, the length overall and each leg of it trimmed off to length. I took an X-Acto knife and trimmed back some of the hot glue that they put on the Dragon Link antenna to stiffen it right in here. I took off uh, quite a bit. There's what I took off right there. Okay. Now I found a piece of tubing that will slide over this piece of wire real easy and, and it's what it is. I had some uh, control rod that had plastic outside piece that went through and I've been using it. Now I've got the control rod left with no outside piece. I might have to get some more. So what I did was I, and I'm cutting them off just a little bit longer than the wire okay like this and I take my knife and here's the red is the end of the wire so I'm just no measurement I'm just cutting them off a little bit longer okay then I got a piece of uh, plastic rod now it's a some I got at a hobby shop. I wouldn't use anything metal now. Can't use metal. Has to be something plastic. You could use a piece of tubing. Any this be creative here, but this is going to go next to this to make it straight like that. Then I got some heat shrink. Any color you want. I just happen to have some white. Okay, and I put the heat shrink on either side like this run it down there like that 
and then the other one like this fits pretty tight already what this does is keep it straight okay if you want to when we're all done you can put a little hot glue in the middle there if you wanted to not necessary okay our finished quarter wave antenna or dipole antenna for our 1258 1258 you go into that same calculator and you can put in the frequency that you use and come out with any length you want uh, 1280 is just a little bit shorter uh, you just go in and experiment with it I like the 1258, this seems to be working. And this is, uh, I'm by, ne by means no expert. I am, this is not the definitive word on this. This is just what works for me. I asked for help from somebody else, they gave it to me. I studied it, I did it, now I'm passing it on to you. See if it works. Now, of course, test it out on the bench, make short. Somebody asked me the other day why I wasn't going more than 2,000 meters. Well, I don't know how far this thing is going to go yet, so I'm taking baby steps. But you know what? I've had it to three miles, and it works great. So try it. See what you think. Give me feedback. Subscribe. Pass it on. Put it on your Facebook page. Tell your friends and neighbors. See you later. Uncle Deke out.